the party descend into the silent darkness of the catacombs, hoping to find wealth and glory. Almost immediately, they find that the catacombs are enchanted to prevent all sounds. After just moving a bit further into the corridor, William runs into a ghost, but the party deal with it quickly. William and Farris move deeper into the eerie silence, hoping it would end. They manage to avoid the deviously placed trap and eventually find an end to the silence. The corridor leads into a chamber with some sarcophagi, but there is no rest for the party or the ancient dead entombed here. As a blood-sucking mist attacks the party and is then joined by the bones of the dead, it is a bitter battle. But the party win out and decide to return to the temple to check on Cal Hughes and report their progress. On the way out, Farris uncovers a secret chamber, but William is insistent they return to the surface before exploring it. They spend a couple of weeks recovering while Farris finishes the dragon hide armour before they once more descend into the silent catacombs. They explore the secret chamber that holds a map, which Yaramir is able to translate. During their exploration, they encounter more of the ancient dead, including a ghost which drains years of life off Kel Marshall and Farris. Things get a bit dire for a while, but they win out and continue their exploration. What further treasure is hidden in the catacombs? What dangers are patiently lurking in the darkness? What has Cal Hughes been up to all this time? Let's find out now on Frozen Frontier. Hey everybody and welcome to the Frozen Frontier. How are you guys doing today? Doing uh, well. Pretty good, yeah. Busy, but yeah. I took a nap. It's, it's all good. <laughs> That's nice. How was your nap? Uh, it, not quite long enough, but I'll I'll, I'll do. Yeah, I, I I left work at like four o'clock today for the first time in forever, and it felt really good, mm. super good. Woo! Exciting. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since we all played. Have it you guys has. been up to anything interesting in our? Dearly, um, love and time apart. Oh God, no! I went and saw a Quiet Place. That was really good. Yeah, I heard. I heard you like that. I did. Yeah, Spence Spencer Copa. Um, it actually made me cry a little bit, and I felt like a bitch. But I was like, "Well, that's okay. <laughs> Tears have been shed already." <clears throat> I um, I went to Portugal. I suppose that was quite cool. Woo! How was Ooh. that? The weather was average, but for the wedding, the weather was nice. So I suppose that's good. Nice. Is that yeah. where you got that glorious tan that we see on you? Exactly that, Neil. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. We should have gone on a different order. I went to Austin, but that's that's no Portugal. Mm -hmm. I... So I've got a story to, to tell. Oh, sorry, Ryan. Oh, I was going to say I need to upgrade my friends with better wedding destinations. Well, yeah, it's girlfriend's uncle. It's not really. You know, but I've got a story. Some of Neil's chat, I've already heard it, but I think it's a good story. So I was getting the train to London. Oh my God. The audacity. <laughs> and I, I get, I've, I've got a seat reserved, right? Work reserved a seat for me. So I go on and I, it's hot. It's like the hottest day of the year so far. I can't remember how hot it was. Probably not that hot if you live in a hot bit of America, but it was, it was hot. I'm in a suit. I've got like a, a bag full of clothes and then I've got like a work bag as well full of papers. It's like hot. This guy sat in my seat. So I say to him, excuse me, you sat in my seat. So he sort of begrudgingly moves over. It's like a four person one. So there's like two, a window, and then a table, and then two more facing each other. Okay, so you had like your own compartment. So I'm meant to be on the aisle. He's meant to be on the window. So he moves over to the window. Isn't the window better than the aisle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. I, don't, I would rather sit by the window. But anyway, I've been walking Why do you take aisle. his seat then? I said that to him, I was like, whichever one you prefer to sit in, I don't mind. But he just he just angrily moved over. But it's like, he didn't move over the whole way. Um, hang on, I need to lower down Neil's 
Nails He's, music. It's yeah. just like we're in a tavern and you're telling us yeah. this great story over glasses yeah. of fine elven wine. So he doesn't move over all the way. He's like sort of sat 80% on his chair and 20% on my chair. So I'm sit down and his shoulders are just like in my space and I've got to like squash my legs together not to touch his legs. <laughs> so he sat there with his legs wide open. I'm like a few minutes about it. I'm really angry. So after about 10 minutes, I think you know, I'm not going to stand for this anymore. <laughs> after 10 minutes of sitting in this guy's lap? <laughs> Someone's got to do something about this madman. <laughs> so I slowly widen my legs until my leg touches his. Thinking there's no way now that this can carry on. He's going to have to address the, um, the problem. Well, he just doesn't move. He just sits there with my leg touching his <laughs> for like another 10 minutes. Um, like ignoring it so I tut a bit but he doesn't he doesn't pick me up on it so eventually someone else moves and I just abandon my seat and go and sit in another seat for the rest of the journey and it's fine but I get back up to leave and he's moved back into my seat oh <laughs> <laughs> like, what a scumbag oh my god was he British yeah 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 he was but he had no respect for the the rules of the train you know which is yeah this doesn't sound very British <laughs> yeah he's what, just what a don't horrible man. touch other people's legs <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just stay in your own space. No one wants to be here. <laughs> me, me scoozy. The rudeness of people these days. It's unbelievable. It yeah. was unbelievable. Uh, all right. Well, does anyone have a story that can top that? Uh, no. And, uh, I, yeah, I ate my story. cubes. Wait, it's cubes. not a good story, but it's a thing. <clears throat> like, is this a Food yeah, or did someone punch food. you till you blood I, yeah, cubes? Somebody took me to a Vietnamese place and they ordered mm. in Vietnamese. I don't know what I got. It sounded like boo 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 boo. I'm really racist That's... sometimes. I'm sorry. That was really really bad. <laughs> anyway, the soup traditionally comes with cubed coagulated blood, and I, I ate it. I uh... I didn't like the thought of it, but I did, and it didn't kill me. So you know. How did it taste? Like I said, not a great story. I don't know why it popped up in my brain, but if we were going to go for a topper and I was an articulate, charismatic person, I bet I could make a good story. <laughs> like that. I, I might have a story next week. I might be doing like a big code marathon tomorrow. So we'll, we'll see if, if my group members and I all kill each other during that. Um, I nice. might have some, some war stories by the end of that. Do you, wait, <laughs> since we're talking about eating blood, do you guys not have like blood sausage, like black pudding? Uh, not, not really. We oh my god, man, that is thing the in America. that is the nicest thing that you could possibly ever. Eat. I'm telling you, man, you've got to try. I, I've had blood sausage. It's not an. It's certainly not an American thing. Yeah. Blood pudding. Oh, is wow. it like coagulated the same way the little cubes were? I don't know. Usually, I it's mean, like mixed with something, right? Yeah, like yeah it's, some sort of like grain or starch like or whatever soft, as like a filler. It's like a soft texture, but it's just delicious. Really, is great. Hmm. All right. Just... Well, hmm. let's uh, end the happy, fun time, halfling party music, yeah. and uh, pick up where we left off. You guys are in Swampside. Mm. Um, it is the 29th of November. Uh, you guys have spent all, you've gone down to this tomb twice. Mm -hmm. Made some good progress, and yeah. you just popped back out after a bit of a battle. Yeah, was probably, yeah. yeah. And uh, now you're up on the surface inside the ancient and mostly ruined temple of Bellum, which mm -hmm. now has the the roof patched and works very oh, well as a shelter, which is fantastic because it's blizzarding outside. So uh, inside this very large roomy temple, you guys are fine but going out would be slightly problematic. The, the temple is quite crowded. Well, relatively crowded to what it normally is because the whole work crew is here, plus all the soldiers, plus Captain Hughes and the, the foreman and everyone's around uh, inside, keeping warm and staying out of the blizzard. Yeah. Is the medic here? Or maybe Yarmir. Is Yarmir enough. is your medic. I'm kind of concerned about getting some sort of zombie infection. Cause I was, I've been like chewed to bits by zombie well, They were like claws. desiccated zombies, right? They, sure. Like dry Does mouth, that... just like stretched and you know, mostly gone skin. <sighs> mm -hmm. Does that Probably. bit of zombie lore exist in this universe? The like fear being bit and turned into a zombie. 
There are multiple sources for zombies. Some of them are simply restless spirits. Those ones won't transmit any curse and you shouldn't have to worry about. There are zombies that are uh, reanimated, that are like kind of brought to life, which are a little bit different. And then there are like plague zombies, or at least there are rumors of plague zombies that eat you and then new ones rise. But it's unsure if those are part of like a bigger curse where just all the undeads rising, that, that part's a little complicated. These seem to be restless spirit zombies, which you would know from all of your time in the temples and all of your time with the, the group of Martha people okay. over Matava. In, insert role play here of Grimes having a panic attack about catching the zombie plague and Yaramir calming him down. Sure. We can, yeah. we can breeze over that and go sure. and do some healing math. Yeah. But uh, yeah. yeah. So if it's a blizzard, Neil, and there's not too much going on, I mean, we only left three hours ago, so I figure that there's not too much catching up to do. Nope, nope. People see you come back up, ripped shreds, the the same curiosity as before. Grimes, who's, who's a little ripped up right now. Yeah, and Yarmir's a little. Multiple days up here. So I would, we need to get three a day, right? So I would only need like four days, but everyone else. Yeah, I don't really need that much time. I think it's mostly uh, Grimes who needs it. How long do you need? Uh, I'm at like five out of thirty-one. Or actually, let's let's level me up if we've got downtime. I think Neil's holding out on the three episode XP here. Are you two? Yeah, episodes, I've got thank you very much. I think I've got X. Oh, yeah. I was gonna wait until the entire tomb oh, was right. cleared to give you you're XP right, for right, the whole right. tomb. I don't have enough XP to level up. I'm just, well, I I do. You'd only get proportional XP anyway, or proportional HP anyways. Yeah. 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 All right. I'm f I'm at five out of thirty-one, so, but I can also n not get eaten by zombies. That's yeah, let's just do a week, right? We're not we're not in a massive rush. Cool. Let's heal ourselves to full, because or you know near full in your case, because mm -hmm. who knows what's down there, right? We all sorts of mad stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, well, today's the 29th, so you would want to spend seven nights resting. Uh, yeah. It would bring you to. Uh, Thursday, the 7th of December would be when you would go down again. All right. So when my duties as a medic are not required, um, I got to be able to do something, right? Does it blizzard the whole time? No, there's a blizzard for three days. Cool. Um, At some point, yeah. I want to go outside and I want to take this fan we got with us. And I want to figure out if I can make it go mm. and how much it pushes. And I want to see if I can like waggle it with my knees or something to, to go. To waggle it with your knees? I assume you have to like wave the fan, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to flap it. Or if I could like, like I want to experiment with it, right? And see what what is required to activate the fan. Like, if I could tie it to my waist and do a little jig, does it go? Is or this the automatic fan? If I grab it with a with a knee. It's like a like fan of blowing or something. Can it go? It is a fan of wind. Yeah, so you try it with your knees, and that definitely doesn't work. You, like, stick it under your elbow and, like, chicken wing it, and that doesn't seem to work. And uh, I don't know. You grab it with your toes? Is that one of the things you said? Sure, yeah. Yeah, definitely. that doesn't seem to work. It, <laughs> okay. It, it only really seems to magic itself when you're holding it with your hand and focusing on uh, blowing wind with it. Is that have a limited number of charges? It might do. Oh, I don't uh, know. Okay. No, I doubt I, it. I will... Neil, Neil did not mention anything about, like, how much do you want to test, and I feel like that would probably be uh, the indication that we're dealing with charges. He has Meta the notes gaming. on the, the fan already. Uh, so... Okay. That's unfortunate, but all right. So I'm gonna try this anyway because I got weeks to to screw around with it. Um, I'm gonna at some point memorize and then cast Murdoch's feathery flyer and like climb up a tree. Perhaps ask a, a burly soldier to like help me up a tree because I'm probably really shit at climbing trees. Sure. And I'm gonna try to like wave the fan and like glide on the air produced by the fan an attempt to fly at least a little bit. Give me a sec here. There's a strong gust of wind. You just get blown into the sea. 
<laughs> but if I can continuously make gusts of winds as needed and then like fall with style a long way, I can make some effective use of yeah, maybe. the spell. Let's see. It gusts about 30 miles an hour. Enough to extinguish candles, torches, and similar unprotected flames. Uh, lantern flames to dance wildly. If it's not putting out a lantern, you know. Well, it's not putting out a lantern because it's protected by glass on all sides, but it puts out torches. Yeah, but surely Yarami is going to be harder to blow than a lantern. But what if I'm magically inclined to float? It oh, yeah, forces right. back small flying creatures 1d6 times 10 yards and causes man-sized beings to be held motionless if attempting to move against its force. I feel like if it can blow back small flying creatures, it can probably help propel you forward. I would give it definitely an increase to your movement speed. And Feathery Flyer... Feathery Flyer doesn't actually fly, right? It just floats, right? Mm -hmm. it, it, like, glides. But if, like, as I was losing altitude, I could boof myself back up with a gust of wind or, like, a continuous gust of wind, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's probably going to require some significant training with the, with the fan flyer combo. Mm -hmm. I want to see if it works. So I think if someone else is creating a gust of wind, you can take off on it and use it to propel yourself forward or gain some altitude. Um, it only lasts for a single minute when you fan. Um, so I think you could get yourself like one good, you know, bout of climbing and then have a new altitude from which you can descend. Does that mm. work for you? Eh, for now. Yeah. Cool. Uh, <laughs> and last I checked, you actually failed your uh, fan identification, right? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Cool. We just know that it... Like, I, I got my arcanology thing on it, right? So we know that it's unstable and from a gin of the elemental plane of air. Perfect. It's called a fan of wind. Perfect. Uh, you could study spells here, right? Yarmir? Yeah, you know, no. how, long are we, how long are we taking off? This is seven nights. This seven is the new fort, though. I need to gain a level. Uh, maybe it's the new fort. This is just something we patched up and the other people are doing scouting while we're going through this this dungeon. So it might, it might be like where we staged the fort, I guess. Yeah, I think it is going to be. They're already building the walls around it right now. Touching up the roof. They set up like a, a basic palisade wall or something. It's something that's like quick and easy to set up. Yeah, they set up a, a basic wall. Mm -hmm. They patched up the this place to be a, a quick base of operations from which to expand the fort. Um, I was just going to leave all the fort discussion until after we were done with the tomb to kind of streamline yeah, sure. things, but they will all probably right. be getting a combination of William and Hughes's input on where exactly the fort is. And we'll mm -hmm. just like go back and say you were have this discussion previously so we can like focus on fort building or focus on dungeon yeah. building. All right, let's do it then. Let's delve. All right. Well, yeah. let's bring uh, before, in. So if we have seven days that we're taking off, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna do. I have like the the leather pieces with me for the dragon scale. Um, oh, yes. I can start making the le I can start making the uh, the limbs part. Uh, nice. and it'll be enough time for me to do one of the sub pieces. Oh, right, you've only done the chest the part thus far. Yeah. Okay. So I can do the the limbs now. Uh, so there's the first check and 18, not great, uh, but I have six total because it's two sub pieces for the limbs. Excellent. So that is the first of six. Let me just make some marks here. Wonderful. And you have right. six attempts left, you said. Uh, five left. It's okay. six total, so three for each sub piece. I have two more for this this first sub piece. Um, and a week is going to be plenty of time for me to full heal. All right. Grimes is going to hit max health, I assume. No. No, he's going to be a bit short. Really? Even with a seven days of healing at three per day plus your con mod at the end of the week? I don't have a con mod. I'll, I'll be at, I'm at five now, I'll be at 26. Oh. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Well, let's head on back down into the tomb. All right. I lead the way. 
I navigate the trap since I'm the only one who understands it. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. And I counterbalance it for everyone else. <clears throat> you know, we went over this last time. I'm not yes. doing it again. Yes, All right. that's fine. I'm not going to make you go over it again. Does one of the builders have, like, chalk or something? Oh, good idea. Good idea. Yarame, go back upstairs and ask for chalk. Please. Sure. That sounds a, like something builders might have on them. A, a it modern seems day builders. reasonable, right, to make measurements and... Yeah, uh, make markings on stone. Indicating or... where to cut or... or a, a modern contractor or whatever would certainly have chalk. Modern contractors would have chalk and chalk lines. I'm sure an mm -hmm. ancient... Co sure, why not? Chalk is cheap. There's some lying around. Sweet. Totally. Yeah, so uh, I, I bring down some chalk and we mark the... the um, we, we we mark the the trap hickey that spins and and twirls and opens the thing and the slidey sloop. We oh, mark wonderful. the do wiki on the slidey sloop. But yeah, <laughs> all right, <laughs> whatever it's called. <laughs> so there's right. your do hickey, and there's your slidey sloop. Perfect. Yeah, this is your slidey sloop. You you can mark them. All right, this is where the map was in here, right? Correct. Yeah. Take a little look at the map. Yaramir, can you have a look at this? Remember, you've got the translated version. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, What do you want to see? I don't know. Like, what, what's left to explore? Uh, uh, okay. Let me... So we went... We found the secret place when we went up, right? Yeah, so there's those four rooms, and then... Was there a secret place? Yeah, we found another... Se Where was the fountain exactly? Was the fountain um, by the smiley face? I don't think face? the fountain was secret, yeah? No? No, the fountain was not uh, secret, but there was a secret wall next to the fountain. Oh, uh, okay. The, the downwards hand is where the fountain was. So, oh, so there's oh, a... Yeah, there, I remember, this was like a crypt room right next to the smiley face, the, the one uh, to the left of it. Yeah. And there was like a sarcophagus guy in the ground. And then the, the smiley face room had the, the the fountain with the wall that opened up into the secret passage. Is that right? I thought the I thought the fountain was in the room to the left of the smiley face. No, that was where the crypt was. With all the I think the fountain was in the one marked reflection chamber, yeah, which would be... Which, well, we can't read the map, yeah. Yeah, we, we don't know what it's called. So which would the be left J. or to the right. J, there's no J for us. Yeah, we, ours are incomprehensible symbols. Great. Uh, this, this, where you're pointing to... The, do you see the, like, turtle man that's taking a dump? <laughs> the one that's the dump is J. What are you talking about? So like in the far right, it's like the turtle man's head, and he's got like little flippers. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right. The so the, the the squat, not the little traily bit that leads into like whatever parasites trying to eat him, but like the the square bit that's the dump. That's the day. <laughs> what are that's you the, talking? The about? smiley face. He means the smiley face, right? Okay. Yeah. So there's the reflection chamber. What's the last room called? The very, very last room, the one on the far east, is no, uh, the Tomb the of King Calvin the, the First. The turtle's body oh. and legs. Uh, the turtle's body is the welcome chamber, and then everything else is a tomb, right? Tomb of King such and such and such and such and such and such. So there's five Ooh, kings there's sorry, king. down there. Two of them may or may not be related. They both are Calvin. <laughs> All right, look, hmm. before we go in there, obviously no one wants to disturb the dead. Unneedly, but these people have been dead for thousands of years. Mm -hmm. I'm told by the highest authority on religious matters that the gods aren't watching us here. So, in the needs of um, securing the goals of this expedition, we will be searching the tombs of these dead kings. Now, I'm aware that that me probably means fighting some more of these undead or whatever the technical term is, Yaramir. We're just <laughs> I wouldn't want to hear any moral argument against it. If you're not into it, well, that's tough. Sure, but somebody else is standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with the ghosts. I've already lost 10 years off my life to those things. <clears throat> you've got you've got more to spare, Faris. Right, I know what you elves are like. Let's go. Did we go to the so, burial hall last time? Uh, which one is that? Well, I guess there's a bunch of burial halls. We went in. We went to all four, four of those side things. Ghosts, so yeah. Yada yada yada. But then there's one that's called Priest Burial Hall. Which one's up? Which? Uh, one? the one next to the turd. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, no, that's the one yeah, with yeah. all. Yeah, we went in there. It we was went like in, okay. Top built into the ground. We didn't open them though. We we were like, we can open these later, I guess. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's get to the so, end. So right. 
Yeah. So follow me. Yeah. So I have my phase dagger drawn in my left hand, and probably a crossbow ready in the other. Yeah, me. Come in. You're gonna get lost in the dark here. Oh yeah, I don't roll twenty effectively sometimes. Here we go. All right, keep up. Well, <laughs> we're role playing in real time here, guys. All right. Walk yeah, on. but you're not Two. really because we're moving like One, hundreds of feet. Four. Before you go any further, I want to make sure I read a bit of text to you in that room that you're in right now. Uh, I've been reviewing my notes. I think I might have missed it. Back up. What's that say on the wall over there? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, in this room, this is where those armored skeletons were. And on a yep. plaque above the wall in Caledonian, there is some text that says this that Yaramir can read and no one else can read. And there's also piles of bodies on the floor here now, right? No, we dragged we them a... all into a pit. Oh, okay. Yeah. What does that say, Yaramir? I, uh, it says, uh, when the castle burned and they still lived, seven nights before you chose to be buried alive with their king to guard his eternal rest. Your children be as brave as they. Mm. Well, I guess that explains why they crawled out of their sarcophagi. I guess so. Although, wasn't there nine of them? Yes, that should say nine. Oh. Sorry, mistranslation. It actually says nine. <laughs> Very job. sorry. Still new with language. <laughs> well, okay. I suppose they would have been happier in their sarcophagi than down in that pit. All right. Does anyone remember the way? Are we just cross this little hmm? pillar here? Keep going straight. Yes. Uh, let me pull up. This is a map. Yeah, so if you go straight, and then there's a little Dewey Majiki in the go, middle, go if you down. go around that. Yeah, take a right with it. It's hard to do without the light source. Stop bumping against me. Hurry up. <laughs> I'm half ethereal, Sorry. so I'm only halfing, but half um, bumping into And you. then if we go... So are we going to the reflection chamber or the other one? Uh, uh, we've already done the through. reflection chamber, so I think we're going to take a right. I'm going to go into the turtles. Yeah, we're, we're going to... Okay, okay, so we're going to go to the reflection chamber. Okay, so yeah, then you go down and around. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hmm? So, does anyone remember... Wasn't there meant to be a door here? Yes. Uh, so I'm going to do the same thing I did last time with the secret door that we found on the left, Neil, and I'm mm -hmm. going to look all... I'm going to, like, you know, kind of, like, uh, slide my hands along the wall, get down on the ground and look for any, like, secret buttons on the floor... Um, I already checked the fountain before trying to like twist the handle. So I'm gonna look under the bench to see if there's any buttons on this side. Um, I'll get up on the bench and like per you know kind of go over the ceiling very thoroughly, give it a, a very thorough perusal, sure. trying to find uh, another secret button. There are no secret buttons to be found anywhere here. Uh, at least none that you can find. Not with your keen half elven senses, nor with your standard perceptions. Great. Can we? Um, there can was we a move? button under the. There was uh, one under the bench on the left side. It was right here, right? Yeah, but there should be something to the right. Can we move this fountain? Nope. I try and move the fountain. No, okay. Nope. It's you can, I, you can I not try. It is not allowed. <laughs> the game was built for you to take this action. And I, I had tried like twisting handles and stuff on it before, like moving things up and down. It it didn't work. Yeah. Um, yeah, so right, yeah. Definitely, it's not intended. Do you have any empty vials? Uh no. All right, everyone, empty oh. out your. Wait, you maybe this is holy water. Wait, down down here. Yeah. Grimes right, so is gazing uh, intently William. into the pool. W w William. Lost in its Wait. depths. What if this is holy water? Isn't that w William? W William, down God, here. Damn it, Grimes. What what forest? Hey. <laughs> oh, you found the door. Good job. But wait, come back <laughs> to the fountain. What if this water is holy water? Do you think it's safe to drink? Does it look clean? Maybe we should just fill our water flasks with it. It, it looks like stagnant water, right? We, it's we want to... stagnant what? water with a thin layer of dust floating on top of it. That's glowing, right? Uh, the fountain is emitting light, right? I think... So the okay. water doesn't glow. It's the actual, like, basin and fountain. I guess? I don't know if you could tell the difference if it was the fountain or the water. Maybe? Splash them on the floor. Yeah, sure. If you splash them on the floor, the water on the floor definitely doesn't emit any light. Mm. 
Yeah. Um, so it looks like it's the bottom of the basin producing light. Response to... And the middle center column that comes up too. Mm-hmm. You have a point. It could be holy water. Like it could be. Right. I think in response to William's question, should we just drink this? I think Yaramir just pulls no, 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 no. But you can you can get vials of the stuff and pour it on the backside of one of his unprinted scrolls. And he says, "Yes, please try." I just <laughs> and yeah. acts like he's gonna be taking notes. No, 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 but vials of holy water. These these can harm undead, can they not? If it's a... holy water, perhaps. I take a little sip now, just a little one. Okay. Oh God. The, the parasites you are now infested with. <laughs> little sip. It's a little dusty. It tastes a little stale. Kind of like rock. Okay. Is it refreshing, though? Not mm, any more refreshing than any other water you've had in your life. Probably less refreshing than most. How long can I go without water? Like... Three days, generally speaking, but dep- it depends really on what you're doing. So yeah, like we could spend a night down here and I could technically go without drinking fire out my water flask. Yes. Alright, I empty out my water flask and fill it with whole, fill it with this water. Alright, please mark water from the king's tomb. Oh god. That's not a good sign. Yeah, it is. I'm just gonna throw it on the king. Alright. Hmm. I think I have a spare rum skin or something. Yeah. Oh, well... You could have mentioned that. God damn I, it. I told I was transfixed in the depths of the pool. Get your head in the game, Grimes. I think right. you're supposed to use glass so you can shatter it, throw it Does at Does the water that William pour out freeze? Uh, slowly, yeah. Ah. Uh, well, it's freezing down here, right? Right, yeah. yeah that water's not frozen. But specifically, this water is not frozen. Oh. Uh, Head in the game. <laughs> What's that, rum? I I can hand my rum skin over to someone. Shaken out of the, my my trance. Come on, let's get this place cleared up. Around this corner, Faris found the way. Okay. All right, this is already looking suspicious. Yeah, uh, William, when you get to there, you start to hear sounds. Mm. Um, there's kind of like a, a so low... So I can see the far end of this room. Those are statues with wands on them? Yeah, they're statues that have shields and kind of um, spears with glowing tips. Each statue seems to be emitting some amount of light in the room, kind of making it all dim light everywhere. Uh, but as you get close, William, you can hear like, voices whispering to you. What does it say? Do we hear any of this, or do we just pile up in the doorway? I think William comes to a stop trying to listen to the voices. Give me a perception check for how well you can make them out. Okay. What do I need here? Hmm. Did you guys hear that? Oh, yes. What? Hey, wait. I listen. Well... Statues, you know what that means. It's time to employ the test. Uh, hold the hold the hallway, William, and Ferris grabs his bow from his back and starts to draw a phase arrow from his uh, his quiver. Very well. I duck down a little bit. Yeah, and I'm going to shoot past William at uh, this one down the hall here. Give me a roll to hit. All right. Uh, D20 plus 7. 14. You for strike the statue with your arrow, which hits it, falls to the ground, and blinks out of existence. All right. Uh, go ahead and roll can, me like, damage for arm. your arrow. Ooh, all right. Uh, D6. I'm gonna see if I can like knock an arm or something off this statue. Ooh, quite nice. Uh, sure. Take another shot. Yeah. Uh, D27. Uh, 11. I'll just do a few different shots here if that's. Sure, please. Uh, 17, 21, okay, 20. Okay, that, we're gonna stop right around there. After, once you okay. get about your fourth shot off, uh, <laughs> the vision before you in the room starts to grow a little bit dim. Uh, specifically, the center of the room begins to darken. Hmm. What, what's going on? I draw my sword. Does it look like a shadow forming in the center of the room? It does or? look like a shadow. All right, I'm and gonna shoot at that shadow. And then the ground in the center of the room begins oh. to depress. Well. 
And, uh, on so, the floor. hold on, it looks like, when you say shadow, does it look like a shadow on the floor or like a misty, hazy shadow in the air? More like a misty, hazy shadow in the air that begins to okay. block your so light to the other a, side. I have like ethereal arrows. I'm gonna try mm -hmm. shooting some ethereal arrows at this thing. Go ahead, give me one shot, please. All right, d20 plus seven, that's a 14 right. to hit. We Are the arrows goes right the through the center. Ooh. Yes, they are ethereal. Okay. Uh, it goes right through the center and kind of lands on the far side of the room with a dink. Is it advancing or is it just kind of like... It's just sort of materializing in the room. In the bottom, is it the ground... man-shaped? Begins to so press it no, it's definitely it not man-shaped. more area or does it it's... fill a space and kind of cease? I mean, it starts growing as kind of like a, a small, like, baseball-sized shadow and then begins to expand and expand. Okay, uh, so as, like as the shadow creeps the out, the darker get, the center gets darker and darker. Okay, so it looks like it has a shape. It's not just like moving to fill the room like a gas. It is growing. Yeah, but it, it looks like it's it's holding a shape. Like it's a ball that's getting bigger. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The I peek around the corner. Is the statue to my left moving? Nope. Statue is perfectly stationary. The ground before you begins to kind of recess and bend down. And then you begin to see hands crawling out of the depression once the, the shadow fills up maybe about 15 feet wide and actually becomes like a, a blackish void that reaches from ceiling to floor, clipping into the ceiling and floor. And where it clips into the ground, there begin to emerge bodies, monstrous zombie bodies. Oh, and we, we roll for initiative. Holy yes. God, what have we done? I opened a portal to the underworld. <laughs> What the fuck Look, is this? I'm gonna... Don't worry, you hold the hallway, I'll shoot the void. <laughs> hold the hallway. You think? Okay. Yeah. It's our... I don't know. It's our best hope. Uh, let's see. There we go. Actually, I should have a bolt knocked, which gives me a one on my initiative, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. <sighs> So that should be a three. But I don't actually know what to shoot. <laughs> a body? So question. Do we have any of the magic items on us? Yeah. yeah. All the magic items, right? Yeah, like the fan and the and the Yeah, I assume we're always carrying that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you guys unencumbered and can just carry those? Because I can't. Oh, I mean I guess if they're not on a character sheet. Uh, I will, I will oh, carry them. Yeah, I could carry a few things. What am I carrying, Greg? <clears throat> a magic fan. What yeah, else? so there's a there's a magic watering can, a fan, two paper lanterns. Um, you guys have the swords and the quiver and the dagger already taken care of, and then Sean has the skeleton head strapped to his back. Yeah. Or his waist. So, I yeah, think I, I gave guess that it's to the you. Watering can. Start of this dungeon. Okay. Well, I've got him, yeah. Cool. All right, I am taking a crouched defensive posture, readying attack. Okay. Uh, so the initiative, Yaromir, you started off. Uh, I sure. Uh, oh, except Grime the, starts it off with the just, crossbow just, shot. Yeah. That's at a hand, a body. Yeah, that's at one of the, the bodies on the ground. Yeah. Sure. Uh, what? fifteen is a hit for six damage so the 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 way you described it is like the ground itself has depressed right yeah. so there's a slope going down towards them starting mm -hmm. at us mm -hmm. that's what those concentric circles are correct yeah so uh, the black circle is where the depression starts or yeah. like the sort of hazy black yeah. yeah i guess i can't really see all right should, should i be able to see you so, can't see well, well, I don't understand what he means by concentric circles. There's and like then maybe oh, you can't, little, then you probably can't see falling out of it, but I don't see concentric circles, right? Yeah, you uh, don't see don't worry about them then. It's fine. Yeah. But if you can see the big block void, you can attack something. Yeah. So, All right. Right. so is there a if body? There, if the ground's depressed place. leading up to us, I kind of want to pour the watering can out so that the yes. water runs down the the <laughs> slope. The floor under us is not the soft. depression Slippery comes out to rain marked with the arrow. party when it freezes and then maybe just like washes down into the hole. I mean, to be fair though, it's in my bug. 
the depression comes starts at roughly where the arrow starts and then goes this way. So you're uh, not quite uh, at the depression. Okay. I don't think you could get it from me anyway, Greg. <laughs> okay. So, um, not that then, not that I'd stop you. Yeah, then I guess I can just like pull it. out a scroll and uh, um, begin tracing it uh, on the uh, on the on the scalp in front of me, and I will enlarge Ferris so that he can do a little extra arrow damage. How big are you enlarging Ferris? Because we're indoors, and I wonder if he'll. I think I'm already. Ceiling. Uh, yeah, I think. I'm How hard. high is the ceiling? It's like eight I, feet. I enlarge him until he fills the space adequately. Perfect. I guess. How how tall is the ceiling? Eight feet. So I think you're okay, eight, so you're oh, eight yeah. four enlarged last. Night. So five seven. So it's eight feet. Let me do this in inches. Uh, eight times twelve. So I can go up to ninety six inches before. So let's say like ninety three, so that it's not too. I, you can't choose to stop enlarging. You can't choose. You I'm enlarge. Sure I can right. It says he can choose to. to a yeah. You can he, okay, Neil. Okay, you let us cast at a lower level, yeah. so you could cast a fifth level enlarge spell. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Okay, so you could add the, an extra twenty. No, the, the spell says you can cast up to a percentage, even better, lower level. You could enlarge me by up to forty percent while keeping Perfect. me without like scraping my head against the ceiling. That's great. So Ferris, you enlarge by forty percent. Okay, so I can I can add that to my bow damage. <laughs> You have become super Ferris, the most dangerous man alive. So William doesn't even need to crouch anymore, which is pretty nice. Uh, yeah, sure. But now Grimes can't see. <laughs> yeah, Grimes is totally, his view is completely blocked at this point. Um, Grimes and William. I already went. Uh, you had a shot at the very beginning of the turn. Oh, you're shooting again? No, no, I already went. That my initiative. It was, yeah, it's. I'm done. I think you just go at the start. You don't get an extra shot. Crossbows get a bonus if, to initiative if they're cool loaded, and I forgot to include that in the roll. Perfect. You take your shot, William. It is your turn. I uh, I ready an action to if I see people start climbing up the hill. Yeah. They're, they're climbing, aren't they? Aren't they? Wasn't there a body attached to the hand? Bodies that have I reached out and pulled themselves forward about five feet from the black void in the middle of the room. So they're like sort of scrambling up the ramp here. Yeah. All right, I move to engage like here, and sure. we'll attack any that get. You're gonna have ramp. to get five feet closer if you want to attack the bodies. I think he's ready. I'm okay. ready, ready if, when they come up the. Don't ramp. be stupid, William. Remember okay. your training. And you will survive. Uh, Starship uh, Troopers, great film. When Grimes shot, did he shoot the void or did he shoot like one of the hands reaching out of the he void? He shot a body specifically. Okay. Yeah, we need to right. make space. Yeah. We need to make space, otherwise Yarame is going to be useless. The creature goes, um, and let's figure out how it works. Okay. Uh, Grimes. You feel, you have your dagger drawn, right? Yeah. You feel it tugging. Like it's pulling your hand and drawing you closer and closer to the pit. Like I actually a, need you to, it's like being magically drawn towards this. Like I need you physical, to make me. Like, a, like it's wrestling it out of my hand or like it's, or like it's a. There is a strong force of attraction from the dagger yeah. towards the pit. You a need literal to, force, not a an emotional literal force. force. Yeah. You'll need to make me a dex check to maybe maintain your stability. Pass. Not a problem. You can hold yourself steady. It, but it is like a constant force, and I've just like found a position where I can like brace my boots against yes. it. Yes. Yes, that's why it's a dex check. Um. Do 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 do. do perfect. Uh, the whole pit moves towards William, just kind of like ah. sucking up the ground as it moves. And I don't want to. I, I start to back up then if that's happening. You, I thought you readied an attack for her in case it yeah, got closer know. towards you. Oh, I guess it's not doing what I expected then. I don't want to fall into the pit. How right. depressed is this ramp? No, it reaches to you here. You can make an attack at it. So um, does the pit I'm move not or does it get bigger? It moves. Looks like it moves. It. So it ripples moves forward. Pit moves. Yeah. Okay, so it goes floor to ceiling, you. right? So it's like a it's a column of right. a void. So we can't see past. Technically, it. yeah. Like, technically, you shouldn't be able to see beyond this. But so I don't want to just keep yeah, moving the light because that's going to be. Can you but. make? Can you make like a pillar object? I don't know how dynamic lighting works in roll twenty. Can you can't it's, make like a pillar? This like is. You can't, this is what I can do. How? Yeah, that um, seems like a cool way to do it. No. Yeah. 
Give What's me... the incline of the rump? Uh, where you are, it's just a few degrees. Maybe. Okay. All right. All right. Just make uh, your attack I... roll. High ground? No. <laughs> they're crawling on it. They're prone. Well, I mean, if you give, I'm not including high ground because they're designed. It's you don't get high ground against a rabbit, right? It just has AC that it comp- that it counts for the you, this situation already. You'd get okay. high ground against a man that's crawling towards you. No, I think I'm attacking the thing. It's I fine. Think it's a, it's a sure. thing. It's a it's hit. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hit. Right, it's a hit, Neil. Roll me some damage. Yeah, it's just checking. Yep. Nine. All right, you slash into it and hack away three or four of the undead creatures that are trying to crawl out of the pit. Their bodies just kind of get sucked back in, and creatures from either side move to fill the place, and more begin to crawl out, taking their spot. Um, now that it is within this distance from you, uh, mm-hmm. you can feel this calling, this pulling on your on your heartstrings, and this kind of sucking forward. I need you to make me a successful willpower check as this thing know. tries to drag you in and you feel compelled to walk towards it. Oh, well. Good luck. Us. All right. You find yourself holding steady against the pit that reaches for you. And that's a mental tugging, right? That is... Yeah, uh, mental spiritual tugging, yes. Yeah. Uh, and then from... Actually a low, low, kind of near your legs at the base of the void, and also from the very top of it where it clips the ceiling, fire two silvery arrows, both past you towards Ferris. 19 AC. Thank you for that, I was about to ask. Um, We have a 23 and a 26. Oh, this thing is not messing about. Uh, the 23 is a hit on you for... Can it, can it shoot the, the top one? Like, is that able to see through the door back to me? Because I'm a decent ways back in the hall. Yes, yes. It is coming okay. from, like, the point where the, the void clips the ceiling above you. That's what I mean. Would it have an angle on me? The room we're entering is has the same height of ceiling? Yeah, it's still eight feet tall yeah. here, and William's only six-something, so it can get, as long as it's above him, it okay. can see you fine. Uh, so one hits you for five, and mm-hmm. I think the 26 is a crit on you because it clears by five, and it's natural. 18, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight damage. Okay, so 13, got it. Okay. Um, and, and it is your turn. My turn. All right, so first shot, uh, 24, and then I'll just do the second shot right away because I get 24 is a hit. Yep. And the second one's a 19. I Hit. believe those are both hits. Yep. All right, so I'm going to do 2d6 times 1.4. Why 2d6? Because I hit twice. Uh, right. uh, oh, that's wrong, actually. Hold on. Four times. Let me find some here. 1.4. Uh, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, equals. That's right. We'll do that's it. Right. That's right. That's right. That did it, too. 5.6 plus uh, 2. Uh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, uh, right, because you want. You round down every time. So 2.8 plus 5.6 would be uh, I don't think so. 6 plus 2.8 should be 8.4. Oh, no, it is right. Okay, never mind. Yeah. It's correct. Of course it's right. Yeah. Uh, is the, there... question is, do you round each... the question is, do you round each attack? I think... Yes. Uh, is that you should. And I think they, they always not. round down, right? Do you truncate yeah. it or do you round it? I, I think, think it just truncates. Yeah. Okay. Right? I would. I would always I round it. I can't down. remember. It's either eight or nine, depending on how you round. I mean, sorry, seven or nine. It should always be eight, uh, rounding wise, because it's not 0.5, so. It might just truncate it, though. Yeah. Spells call. So in this um, case, it shouldn't matter, is what I'm saying. The damage is rounded up. Oh, okay. So That's nine. Damage. Nine, yeah. Okay. Nice. Excellent. It takes nine, and we roll initiative for the next round. All right. Do these, like, yeah. are these attacks having any effect on it that we can see? Uh, yeah, like yes. we, I can see, off. I can see damage. Yes, uh, each done. time you strike it, you are literally ripping away bodies from sure, somewhere around it. Sure, but another body just comes out of the void. It does seem like the v- bodies move in from either side or do crawl out, but you are having a visible effect on it. <clears throat> Get in here, stop blocking the way. Block the way? Yeah, like... Get in the, the way of that. Grimes and Yaramir can't see it. Uh, one more initiative. Uh, you're waiting on me. I am. Sorry. All right, Yaramir, you are first, but with all these people in front of you and Super Ferris in I front want, of you. Can I? 
holding spells is a weird thing, huh? Yeah. I mean, wait until like the end of the round sure. before I move. Okay. If you can just delay your up. turn, that's fine. If this yeah. thing takes up the whole like space, he should be able to at least see it. Like he might not be able to make a proper aimed shot, but like a magic missile should still sail to it. Sure, he could probably get a glimpse of it through a magic missile. Yeah. Um, uh, but you're okay. gonna delay your that's, turn that's, until we'll, we'll cast a magic missile at it. I. Um, you can just tell me when you want to go. We don't have to worry about the exact. I want. I don't necessarily want to shoot a body. How do I have like depth perception on it? Is it like a yawning portal? Can I hit like the inside of the portal? Yeah. Okay, then I want to shoot my magic missile at the inside of the portal because I, I have a feeling like the portal itself might be different than the bodies. Sure, you can absolutely do that. Um... I know that goes kind of against magic missile, right? Because magic missile says you have to target a creature. I can't target like that portcullis. Right, that it's not like you can target a creature's eyes with magic missile. It just strikes right. the yeah. Well, it's also like you can't, um, you couldn't shoot a bucket on a rope with magic missile. We, we've creature. usually allowed that, right? You can magic missile inanimate objects, correct? Right. No, you specifically can't magic missile inanimate objects. Yeah, it specifies it has to be a creature. Okay then. Uh, so I guess you can't specify which part of the thing you want to target. It'll You'll just target Unless, the thing. I guess okay. he could if it was considered a separate entity from the bodies crawling out of if it. If it was a creature, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. But it all it seems gets, to be one creature, so. It, that yeah. gets super meta-y, so. Yeah. Yeah, inanimate, just the inanimate objects cannot be damaged by the spell. Okay. Huh. Okay. Um, I guess, well, we declared what we were doing, so. Uh, 11 damage to something. You strike Something getting plastered with nipple shots. Do you destroy multiple corpses across this thing? Uh, and the go. portal begins to shift. Ooh. Um, it is going to move. Uh, how do I do this? It moves oh, over about here uh, and oh. sort of like clips into the wall, but is now like reaching many so of the, you the bodies get dragged along with it is that yes uh, they and now the wall. they they kind of just clip into the wall and they appear where you see them like reaching out from the ground underneath the wall um, and you can ferris and grime well ferris you can sort of see like hands pushing against the edge of the wall like beside you near the ground um, as if they're just behind it uh, Grimes, oh, the direction that you're being pulled has shifted. All of a sudden, mm -hmm. you feel a force of wind, or like a force of put, being pulled backwards towards Yaromir. I will need you to make me another dex check. Perfect. Still you are good. still standing. Is the wall in front of me still there? Or yes, is, or the wall is, the is still wall there like, for you. So it's seeing this, is it like... Is it is it out of the wall or does it look like it's completely behind the wall at this point? It looks like it is partial. It looks like it is inside the wall. Okay, I'm saying like is is a part of it sticking out like that? I could no. There's like you okay. know if there's a wall, there might be like little fingers pushing against it. Okay, uh, so nothing like nothing substantial. Right, out. Uh, William and Ferris, okay. I need both of you to make me willpower checks. This thing draws you towards it. Uh, what's my pass? Eleven. Uh, fail. Ferris, you feel yourself pulled and pulled and pulled. Uh, kind of, ooh, you're maybe a little bit too big, actually. I think you find yourself trying to be pulled towards it at this point, but that statue is in your way and you just get like sucked against the statue. Okay. Does it, um, does it look like he's walking into it of his own free will though? No, it looks like he is horrified and like trying to resist, but being okay. dragged towards it. This works out actually, because I can probably attack the uh, the thing in melee now. Yes. Um, uh, so and coming from turn? the clip on the wall, fire two more arrows. One this time at Ferris and one at William. Okay. Uh, we have a 26 and a 16 against William. I think the 16 is a miss. miss. Yeah. The 26 should hit Ferris yep. for seven points of damage. Okay, so I'm at 28. Uh, and then it's my turn. Yes. Okay, well, now that I'm in melee, I guess I'm going to switch over to Nighthawk. Uh, so it should be at plus three right now. Oh, it's the evening, too. 
we yeah, got so it. I should be at I should be at plus three. So mm -hmm. D20 plus eleven for the attack roll. Twenty nine. That should be a crit. Uh, Twenty nine <laughs> does clear by ten. And that should be a plus five, uh, and then that's probably a miss. So I clear by ten, so triple damage. Triple damage, yeah. Yes. Uh, so it takes twenty-two points of damage. Oh, wait, no, it's enlarged, so I have to do something really. Fast. Oh yeah. Oh my. Uh, oh nice. So that'd be nineteen times one point four. Uh, so twenty-six point six plus yeah, you three. Need so 30 damage. It, you need to do each one individually. So no, the, not for no, a crit. No, no, no. That's it would single. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Twenty-seven. Okay. Thirty damage. No thirty. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, you know, 30, because it rounds up. Boom. Uh, and then can I, like, try to move away from it? Is that a separate willpower check? Do I just have to... Uh, no, that would be an action on your turn. Uh, okay. It would be a full so action to try to and backpedal. Yes. Okay. Uh, next in the initiative order is... It's Grimes. Yes. Um, do I have anything to shoot at, or are these guys, no, you like, can't. in a wall? No, you just see, like, fingers pressing against a wall and then pulling back. Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, add I'm going to damage that, Neil. Uh, 33. Sorry, my bad. What's the extra three from? Magic bonus. Oh, right. It's the first bonus. Oh, yeah. bonus. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to switch from my crossbow and attempt to slash the phase dagger through the wall. I don't sure. know if that's a thing. Yeah, go ahead and give I, it a shot. I strike out with the dagger. Um... Just a plus three. 16. Does it actually work? Does it like phase through the wall and cut into the cut into a hand or is that not a you thing? You step forward in order to reach where the hands are really kind oh, of Oh, I didn't pulling. say I would do that. Okay. Okay. There's, okay. Is yeah, because there, the there's hands nothing? are right here is where they're like reaching the wall. Okay, the red yeah. circus, circle, isn't it? Yeah. I think my attack whiffs then. Yeah, you just kind of slash, I think I at, slash the wall at the wall. But you. it does clip the wall, right? That, it does that, clip that the wall. Thing. Yeah. <clears throat> if I can use that. And then I think there's no way to get forward. I'm going to, like, squeeze past Yarmir and get back here. Okay. William. All right. I circle around. And then get two attacks, Snail, yeah? Yep. Okay. 27. 27's a hit. It's clear by 10. Yep. For 15. You can clear by... Oh, clear by 10, right? Yep. On a 16. Is a hit. As you slash it, you cut away many, many bodies, and they are slow to fill this time. It 13. doesn't look like there are nearly as many bodies as there once were. Let's roll initiative. All right. Ooh. It goes fast. 14. Yeah. Not as fast Not as fast Grimes. enough. Yeah. So I'm going to walk Ooh. back here. And take a look at this vat of holy water. Does no, it look like it could be tipped over? Nope. It is a fountain built into the ground made out of stone. Good splash, though. All splashy, yeah. splashy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. So I think I like, I guess I'm outside of the little radius thing. So I, I fussed with the fountain a little bit, touched the rim. So I let my crossbow hang. I shove on it. Doesn't look like it's going to go. I'll, and then I'll give like the water a splash with my hand and see if it like does anything to the bodies. You splash water onto Towards. the bodies, mm -hmm. uh, getting a nice good wave over them and has no effect whatsoever. Okay. And I'll back that. To here. I appreciate the sentiments. Uh, you're gonna have to hold alt if you want to go down that hallway. Yeah, it's fine. I can't even okay. see down the hallway. It's one I, I, I crouch in the shadows. Yaramir, you are next to go. Um, <clears throat> I would attempting to rebuke this um, with uh, the amulet aloft and a prayer tempos be a, like an action, or could I do that in addition to spell casting? That would be an action. Okay. Um, then the first action I want to take is uh, to cast the shield spell. So I, I trace out the, the heater shield in front of me um, and get that going. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'll turn to face it. I want to like just step back a bit so that if it moves forward, hopefully it doesn't like encompass me. And I'll just begin fiddling with my um, pocket and getting ready, getting ready the uh, amulet. Okay. Um... 
Okay, so you're fiddling with the amulet, getting it ready, right? Yeah, I mean, like, narratively. I cast shield spell okay. as my action this turn. Right. Narratively, like, this is what Yaramir's doing sure. in the uh, minute between that and now. All right, well, the creature goes, and before it gets its movement off, uh, Grimes, once again, I'll need you to make me a dexterity check as you are being dragged towards it. You're behind the bench now, it looks like. So uh, why don't you oh, take, like, a bench? A, that's a bench, okay. yeah. You can take a plus two for having a bench to don't, place yourself. Don't, don't even need it. Didn't think so. All right, and the bodies move again. The whole thing of corpses draws to here. Um, I Grimes... scream, but the screams are probably consumed by the void. Yes, <laughs> they are. Grimes, Yarmir, and Ferris, I need you all to make me wiz willpower saving throws or checks. Fail again. Am I in it since I am like partially out of it here? You are partially out of it and in of it, so. Okay. Would there be a bonus since I'm only partially in it? No, it's close enough that it, and you're, yeah. You got gotcha. you. Okay. Uh, Yarmir nice. gets a 34, no. Grim, okay. Wow. So you each get drawn towards it. Can I Yo, brace against the bench? Get drawn towards it? Uh, no, no, just the both of you, uh, Sean and Grimes. Yarmir, oh, you're fine, okay. you're okay. golden. Can I brace against the bench or am I no. going? No, over. this is a willpower thing, not a physical dragging thing. Okay. Um, and um, you... Oops, where's my... my well, you were describing Ferris is getting dragged. Was that something else? Uh, you I was both, both getting dragged, dragged, but I got blocked by the statue. Oh, yes. okay. Uh, Grimes, you get dragged to about here, and Ferris, you <sighs> get dragged to here, or find yourself being pulled. And once you enter this this really deep so, slope, you are face to face with the the horrors of the void before you. And okay. when you are this close to it, you can feel it sapping your physical energy. As long as you are this close to it, your physical stats are halved. Whoa. Um. um so do I make a? Uh... No, you make no checks right now. Just well, as long as it, you're. It turn now? Did it, nope. did it... it's not done yet. It still has arrow attacks to make against Yaramir this time. Okay. And it does okay, not so question give... on these arrow attacks. Oh. Mm -hmm. The shield spell specifically negates magic missile, which these aren't, but they seem to be magic and missiles in some way. <laughs> I think that they might give some pretty decent AC bonus against magically. I always felt like the magic missile interaction was like a wizard duel thing. Like meant to be like a specific call out interaction, but probably it it's gives you like a plus five AC versus missile. Yeah. Weapon, right. There's well, already... yeah, it, basically, I want the, the top end AC that it can possibly give if that's the case, which I we think yeah. mm -hmm. so it looks like the best AC that it would give you would be uh, AC 18 against Axes, darts, javelins, and spears. Yeah. Hand hurled missiles. Okay. Three is propelled. Um, interesting. So, the arrows strike out at you. One with a twenty, uh, which actually your 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 amulet of tempos. Uh, normally, it kind of like gives a bluish black flash in front of you when attacks are coming in your direction. This time, the bluish black flash is larger. It actually covers the entirety of your body as the arrow hits it, and there's like a crack in the, the splash in front of you, and the oh. arrow falls to the ground. Um, and shortly oh, no. thereafter, a second arrow fires, the 27, and again, the, the shield comes up, and this time cracks, and the arrow passes through it and hits you. Okay. Um, and actually, a 27 is going to crit you. It's going to clear Yeah, by. it's going to do a, a yeah. fair bit of that So you thing. take 10 as you get hit by this second arrow. Okay. From okay. So only a single crit. That's some amulet you've got there. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's very good. All right. And last person to go, Nick. And then Sean. Uh, I, believe, yeah. I believe I go first. Oh, no, uh, I go one. No. Right. I, I went first last round. I go one. Right. So I saw the direction it went away in, right? Right. Yeah, and guess. you can hear the cries of Grimes that are getting sucked into the void, and yeah, you so can I, look yeah, around and see this. Back around this corner, take another swing at it. Okay. Mm, I can't see its health bar, Neil. Can you sh can you tell I me? I can't show you the health bar, but it's the bodies it's are looking low. pretty bad. <laughs> it's yes, they're pretty mangled. It's okay. about a quarter HP. I'm gonna go for the old two two attack with the shield and that. So let's do main hand first. I didn't even realize it had a health bar until it was 28. Here, so. 28 will hit. By how many does it clear? 
13. Uh, so cleared by 15. Uh, yes. So 4d8 plus 7. 21. Woo! That is a lot of damage. A little shield bash here. Mm-hmm. Let me just remember what that is going to be. Uh, plus two. Or a 22. Natural 20. That clears by five. Clears by five. So that's 2d. Sorry. 2d4 plus three. Another nine. Okay. So that's a total of 30 damage, huh? Yeah. Yeah. 30. Yeah. I'm dumb. Apparently, I was enlarged. Is it, um... That's where my is. Okay, perfect. How uh, crumbled is this thing The your, your shield bash seems to be pretty ineffective against it. Like, you uh. clatter into these zombies, and they kind of get moved around and knocked around, but to no significant effect. Okay. Yeah. How how battered? Like, how close to just, like... Wait, sorry, the, boy, just before boy. I finish my turn, though. Am I in any immediate danger? Can I back up? No, you cannot back, back up. No, once you've entered in, you feel this strong pull on you, and you do not have the willpower to move away. It would take a full round of concentrating and Does a willpower to check will to walk out. To, uh... Okay. Yeah, to back away, he's gonna have to make a willpower uh, check. So you said halved for physical stats, right? Yes. No, I'm not. Okay. I, I'm not there, right? Not I'm a you, Ferris and Grimes. How, how badly screwed up does this thing look? Uh, it is horribly wounded. You know, the okay. I mean, it's a whole bunch of undead so, bodies, but instead of being packed shoulder to shoulder and cramped, now they're fairly spread out. Okay. It looks so like I get most to of the corpses are dead. And the relevant change is just going to make me lose one to my hit and no change to anything else. My attack. Sure. Okay. So I'm just going to do two attacks this round. Sure. Make your attack rolls. Um, D20 plus 10 is a 30. Beautiful. And D20 plus 10 is a 23. These are both with your hawk sword, right? Yeah. So what's the total roll here? Uh, four, four D8. What's a 30? Uh, 30 clears by 15, which is max, which would be 4d8. Okay, so 5d8 total. 5d8. Yes. Um, plus 10, because that's... Plus no, no, the, the 13's a crit as well. Six. The 23 is a crit too. No, it does oh, it not. You said it was 13 it AC? 10. It has 15 AC. Okay, okay 15, so 5d8 plus... Uh, 5d8 times 1.4 or something. Like plus... Six? Times 1.4 plus 10, because plus 3 plus 2 um, for each attack. Okay. Technically, the two attacks are going to get rounded separately. I just oh, did yeah. both the night But off. I think it's you gone. obliterated it either it's way. It's going to be dead. It's going to take 47.8 damage. I didn't even do the offhand attack yet. Um, yeah, D20. you rip into it, and it slowly shrinks it down until it disappears completely. <laughs> uh, and there's a, a loud... <sighs> that permeates the cavern. I think uh, as that passes, I finally get that tempo amulet out and maybe <laughs> say the same kind of prayer for the dead I attempted on the on the zombie. And less in terms of like, oh, I need the zombie to quit biting me now, but more in terms of like, maybe let's let these souls pass on type of thing. I just is, maybe it's an empty gesture, but it's one I make anyway. Is there any sign that this? monstrosity was here like nope. are there bits and pieces of bodies strewn about or there's not a single sign even though it clipped into the fountain the fountain was tilted the fountain looks fine undisturbed with no water on the ground except what you splashed out of it the everywhere that this <laughs> thing was is just completely normal undisturbed so i turn and run back into the hallway is everyone all right is everyone still here i think you see ferris kind of like slump up against the wall kind of recovering his his strength after getting away from the uh the inner the inner ring I try and get past Forrest to check on the others. Move, you <laughs> fucking oaf. I didn't ask for this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone's safe. Okay, move through to the next room. Are, are we not going to talk about the unspeakable horrors we just witnessed? No, let's do it. We can we talk can. about okay, the unspeakable Carrie. horrors once we're face out. To face. What the okay. hell was that, Yaramir? Uh, it Whoa. seemed like a giant pit with zombies crawling out of it. Right here, Grimes and cautiously right tiptoes past here the statues. Are two statues? Are they're, they're the same they're... as the ones in the other room. No, they're not. The north one. Oops. Uh, the north one has a statue of Bellum in a fighting stance, with a spear in hand and a bow and quiver on his back. 
The South Alcove has a statue of Velthara in a fighting stance with an executioner's sword held in both hands. These statues, what are they? Are they all the same? The rest of these statues are all more or less the same. They are figures with shields and spears, and the tips of the spears are glowing, slightly illuminating the room around you. So I grab Grimes by the shoulder, and I point to one statue and say, don't touch that. And I spin him around and say, don't touch that either. <laughs> right. Wouldn't think of it. Let's uh, check there's out no, these tombs. Uh, there's no boobs anyways. Yeah. Belthar has some. Is that canonically why you touched Martha's statue? You just couldn't resist the allure of her rocking tits? I'm a mama's boy. We have a, we have a problem. I can't align myself with the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Hold alt and click drag yourself about. Okay, right, there we go. There you go. <laughs> Everyone get in here. In this room you are all walking into is a single sarcophagus and a statue. Uh, the sarcophagus takes up the middle of the room. The statue takes up the eastern wall, or it is in an alcove uh, on the eastern wall. What does the statue look like? It looks like some sort of kingly figure standing there, reaching out um, towards a crypt, towards a sarcophagus. Something tells me these are these side rooms are going to be the sarcophagi. I think we might want to be looking at the far east room. You don't want to open this thing. I think they're all they're all tombs, aren't they? Here, Yaramir. Uh, yes, uh, this Old one five. appears to be the tomb uh, of the king. The tomb of King Dwarden. All right. Dwarden? The first. Everyone, back out a second. Grimes, can I borrow your grappling hook? Uh. Happily. Yeah. All right. I want to hook the grappling hook. Let me hook just. Let me just under check the... and make sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've got it. Under the lid of the sarcophagus. And then I'm gonna back out of the room, holding the rope, and I'm gonna try and pull off the lid. We're gonna have to fight an undead yeah. fighter because of you, William. Well, we need to we need to loot this place. So, all right, you grappling hook the lid of the sarcophagi, you back the hell out, and you give it a nice heave ho. The lid comes toppling over, smashing on the ground, and shattering into a thousand pieces. All right, sword wow, drawn, shield up. You just a, destroyed a priceless artifact. That's a fragile sarcophagus. What do you mean, priceless artifact? It's a lid, Grimes. The artifacts are inside the tomb. 1,500-year-old lid. This place is full of them. All right, I, I I'm like... just check in the room now. Uh, inside is the desiccated corpse of a probably a king. Uh, it is Cut mummified, and over the, the mummified flesh are the clothes that it would have worn in life. Oh, God, it's a statue! <laughs> And so is there no valuables in here? Oh yeah, I mean those those garments are nice, maybe a little old, but there's jewelry on the statue on the, the corpse, there's rings on the fingers. I think you, you spot know? Grimes like going for the jewelry. I, I give you a hat off. Mm. I draw my sword and I aim it over the the head of the thing and I say, Get the jewels, Grimes. <laughs> All right, so I think my hand is like hovering above like the neck, the brooch or whatever's around its neck. I was expecting to get stopped, and <laughs> you. I guess take... I, I think I sheathed my dagger and like gingerly start to remove jewelry from the from the king. Wonderful. Uh, you my... begin to uh... loot the king's corpse. Yeah, nice. and we'll figure out what happens when we come back from our break. See you guys on the Thank other you. side. Bye. The party descend into the silent darkness of the catacombs. 